Hercules, Director of Emergency Management in York County. No emergency management organization or first responding organization can function without a strong preparedness capability. This vital capability is built only through the efforts of planning, training, and continuous exercising. A full-scale exercise like the train versus bus exercise is the closest thing that you can get to reality. These are lengthy exercises which take place on location using the actual equipment and personnel that would be called upon in a real event. The critical values that a full-scale exercise can provide can't be overstated. They evaluate operational capability of emergency management systems in a highly stressful environment that simulates actual conditions. Hi, my name is Blaine Cody. I'm the Assistant Director with the York County Emergency Management Agency. I was the exercise director for the Wells Train vs. Bus full-scale exercise that we provided back in October of 2014. The following exercise is a full-scale mass casualty exercise conducted on October 18, 2014 in Wells, Maine. A school bus chartered by a group from Keene, New Hampshire, approximately 50 kids and adults ages 14 through 88, is heading to Portland, Maine for the day. The bus driver takes the wrong turn and is on a private road with an unmarked and private railroad crossing. A freight train is moving a box and a tank car along a private rail by the factory off the main line of tracks. At this point, it is unknown what is in the box and tank cars. The bus driver, in haste to get back to Route 109, doesn't see the freight train, and the train hits the bus at the door. This is a drill. 911, what's your emergency? You have a train versus bus collision at Spencer Press and Wells. Unknown injuries. I'll dispatch police and fire. Wells dispatching police and fire to the railroad crossing at Spencer Press, Spencer Drive and Wells. Unknown injuries. This is a drill.
anybody got any boards before they get up here? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Are they walking the other like three miles? <laughs> <laughs> if I could get up and run, I would. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Get out of here. I don't like dogs. Conductor Dave. Okay, Dave, we're gonna everybody's gonna go off the train. Do you have uh, any uh, MFDS or, or, or any uh, papers that are important? Just have two cars, an FD box car and then an MD LPG car. Okay. 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 Uh, okay. Uh, Did you get a pressure uh, on him? Uh, Don't open it. Okay, we just put a traction split on you. All right.
This gentleman is fresh. I have a couple others. Come back and we'll go try and track down some food and find out what the hell's going on in that restaurant. And I'll take my other uh, food. Yeah, 
So he's getting spooky. He's driving all the Are you okay right here, Bill? Yeah, you like to mark what's wrong here. Yeah. We have extra pens too if you need. Okay, so Allison, are you on plug right now? Selfishly. It's a nice ride. Yeah. 
trying to remember how to get here. Oh. Three eyes right here? Yep. Three. Oh. On the school bus, she uh, has no bruising on the top of her left quadrant, her ten pain. She also has ten over ten chest pain. She does have a history of cardiac issues. One, two, three. And she is on Puma. Blood pressure is ninety systolic. You sit there. Get a wheel. Two live core IVs. I've gone through three bags of fluid total. And maintaining the 90s assault. So, we page that whole bunch of patients who need to go down. We need FFP, vitamin K, start getting uncross-matched. Are you on coming for a history of AFib or DVTs? AFib. AFib? Okay. I'm going to say we're going to at least use at least so, two units. Yep. We need additional IV access. We need... Uh, so, uh, that's gross. And the OR is available. Oh. OR is available. Right. Three more. Uh, three more. Can I have the uh, age, please? She's a 65-year-old uh, female. Uh, she has IV uh, access with fluids running. We have available blood products, and uh, she'll be going to the OR. Uh, what are her obvious uh, injuries? Uh, yep, she has large area vacuumosis, direct uh, water, uh, unstable, uh, 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 acute abdomen. Uh, uh, Surgeon needs to come see her here. Oh. Did you get an arm tattoo? Oh, no. Um, Do you have a headache? Though? No. Do you have any allergies to medicine? I know that I don't want to. Could you please get me the charts? Uh, what's your patient uh, number? What's your patient number? The charts, uh, please. Rose, when's the last time you ate a drink? Krista, what's your patient number? The amount of training and preparation between federal, state, county, and municipal agencies in partnership with the private sector, including our met medical partners, railroads, and businesses, provided the participants in the Wells Mass Casualty Incident the opportunity to prepare for a large-scale incident that would tax the resources of not only York County, but those of neighboring governmental agencies. Experiences taught us, such as with the North Berwick truck train collision, that resources from adjoining counties and states may be required to mitigate the incident. York County has set the bar for future training of this magnitude for members of the public safety sector who daily put their lives on the line to protect our citizens.